And tonight we're diving deeper into a non-compliance inspection report by the State Department of Health. It bars the Oklahoma County Jail from housing juvenile inmates. And we're also hearing from a man who says he was nearly eaten alive by bed bugs during his four-day stay inside the jail last week. News Force Jessica Bruno has the detail. This is a really lengthy report. It's 60 pages long. A lot of the issues that the State Department of Health found during their inspection, Michael Stang experienced for himself when he was inside the jail over the 4th of July. And you're about to see his body is now covered in bed bug bites. They're about the size of a dime. Large bed bug bites all over Michael Stang's body. I couldn't even get in the vehicle to be picked up. I had to walk home and uh, take a shower at a truck stop to make sure that I wouldn't spread it into my friend's family's home. He says his stay in the Oklahoma County Jail last week was much different than his first stay there a few years ago before the jail trust took over. There was definitely uh, a fly in some of the rice. The food is unedible in here. On Tuesday, the Oklahoma State Department of Health sending jail administrator Greg Williams and members of the trust this letter following a surprise inspection barring them from housing juvenile inmates. The 60-page non-compliance report filled with issues from a lack of medical and mental health screenings to inmates not being fed three meals a day and finding emergency reporting phone system and intercoms that don't work. Something Stang experienced firsthand. Notice the gentleman here having a seizure. We were banging on the doors waiting for the CEOs to come. The inspection also finding inmates having to sleep on the floor, which is listed as a repeat deficiency, and juvenile inmates only seeing staff members during mealtime. However, jail administrators releasing this statement Tuesday, saying in part, a review of the report identifies some deficiencies that the facility does not agree are accurate. I don't think anybody should be housed in the Oklahoma County Jail. I definitely think that we need to come up with a better facility and better management. At the Oklahoma County Jail, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4. Now, D.A. David Prater is once again calling for jail operations to go back to the sheriff's office, and that would require a vote by the commissioners to dissolve the trust. You might remember they voted to keep the trust in place a few months ago.